vamos a proceder a seguir continuando con el modo historia, que no creo que nos deba quedar mucho, porque ya estamos como en la parte final, vamos directos al templo, y francamente no creo que haya mucho más, mucho más allá. En caso de que terminemos el juego antes de tiempo, by the way, eh, se viene... empezamos el segundo, ¿vale? A ver qué tal qué tal es y cómo van las... 83%, yo creo que hoy... Yo creo que hoy ya podemos finiquitarlo ya, porque supongo que también... Lo que decía en otro stream, que contará también los coleccionables y... Así que poquito a poco... Ah, vale, ya me acuerdo dónde nos habíamos quedado. Ok, ok. Había una... Una vasija por aquí abajo y todo, sí. Vale, ¿atrás teníamos...? ¿Atrás o arriba? Hay como un artefacto en no lo cogí. Juraría que lo había cogido. Vale, pues mira, no lo habíamos cogido. He visto artefactos similares en la excavación de Ban Chan en Tailandia. ¿Cómo ha llegado esto hasta Yamatai? Pues como ha llegado todo lo demás, hija. Perfecto. El mando funciona. De... Déjame ver cuánta batería tengo. Bueno, pues la batería dice que está bien, que está alta. Pero bueno. El... La cosilla esta del... Del hub de Xbox no, no es que sea la cosa más fiable del universo, la verdad. Vale, hay que ir por ahí arriba, ¿no? Okay. Vale, está el tema de las cuerdas, pero... Vale, a lo mejor de lo... Sí, va. hay una... Para subirlo por el otro lado. O sea, no sé entonces por qué lo deja bajar, pero bueno. Perfecto. Y ahora con la cosa esta de fuerza. Bueno. Hello, Chesha. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, by the way, everything is going well for you this morning. I think I know what I have to do. Good, doing a little makeup to get ready for my hair appointment. Getting ready and sexy. Uh, I think it might be that way, but. Maybe this is not it. So what are you doing to your hair today? Maybe cutting cutting the edges? Maybe straighten the hair a bit? Maybe a dye? But. Demasiado arriba. Demasiado arriba. O sea que la idea, la idea es buena, pero estamos too much up. Uh, can we stop racing this thing? 
No, it, it closes on us. Okay, I think I know what, what we had to do. A little frame and some face framing layers. Face framing? Like, you mean the... What's the name of this? Like, uh, the mom? No, what, was, what was the name of the, you know, the front hair? The, oh. I think you know what I mean, but I don't know. I The bangs? Is it the bangs? Because face frame, I, I'm I'm new to the concept of frame, frame face framing layers. So when you do blowouts, they curl out and not everything is a single layer. Ah. I think I know what you mean. Tienes un don por el que muchas personas han dado la vida. Ahora la primera y última reina vive en media vida, un alma en un cuerpo en descomposición. Las hijas... No está transfiriendo el poder, está transfiriendo un alma. Todas estas reinas eran todas... Tú, Químico, la primera y la última. Oh, Dios. Y ahora quieres a Sam. Mira, mira que era obvio, ¿eh? It was an pues obvious no thing. So, uh, so for the un recipiente para el alma de la reina. Tengo que parar esta locura. So translating what is happening right now on the screen. Uh Lara has finally found out it was obvious. Uh Lara has finally found out that uh the bad guy wants the her friend Sam to use as a vessel for the power of Himiko, the goddess of the no goddess of the right. sun here in Yamatai. Thank you, Paper, for that cure. I have noticed over time, as I'm older, my hair has gotten thinner. I used to have so much, it gave me headaches. But now, not so much. No bald spots or anything, just getting a little older. My DM actually has the same thing. That her hair is getting a bit thinner with age, but she is not, like, she doesn't have any bald spots or anything like that either. I don't think it's, it's a bad thing, though. I mean, usually hair, I suppose it's, it's a thing about age, you know, it, 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 oh, stretching too? Hello, baby. <clears throat> oh, to be fair... To be fair, I'm not, I do not think too much about it since I've been having my white hair since I was nine. So sometimes the body do some shit that some of them are really because of age and some of them are just because genetics and all that. So when I see people like, when you say like, I, I, I'm showing my age, I actually think that's kind of endearing because, you know. With age comes experience and all that, but yeah, I, I know how how feeling those changes can be like. Oh, 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 I'm getting old. I'm getting old. But from my perspective, I think that is endearing because it means that you have a lot more experience now, and you have you have lived through life and know many, many more things now. And yes, I have, I do have my white hair since I was nine. Genetics. Yeah, I'm getting plenty gray. I like the gray, but the thinning. Laura cannot use fast travel from if she goes forward. So I suppose this is the ending. Oh, fuck. I didn't read the text. Un momento. El documento... Oh, fuck. 
Which was the document? Can the thing tell me what the document was? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for that on the internet because I don't wanna miss on the documents. You know, thing things that happen. I got distracted for a moment. Uh what is the name of this level? I suppose this is the temple. Uh, Abyss Sanctuary. Okay, so... Hoshi, an ending. This one. No tengo más. Hoshi, un final. Hoshi se enfrentó a una terrible decisión. Siento que estoy siguiendo el mismo camino. Por, pero, ¿qué decisiones tendré que tomar? No tengo más remedio que enfrentarme a mi destino. Esta noche subiré las escaleras que llevan a la Cámara del Sol, pero no me entregaré al ritual. No seré proclam proclamada reina. Nadie creerá jamás que lo que ahora sé es la verdad. El más perverso de los males yace en el interior de la Reina del Sol. Un mal para el que las tierras y el mar de Yamatai no son suficientes. Hay que poner fin a esta locura. Iré a la cámara con la daga robada del general de la Guardia de la Tormenta. Cuando éste se dé cuenta de lo que he hecho, ya será demasiado tarde. Por el bien de Yamatai y de todas las sacerdotisas que algún día estén en mi lugar, debo morir. Uh, I like the gray, uh, but the thinning makes me feel a little different. Harder, harder to do. My usual hairstyles have to really. Oh, I, 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 I mean, I, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting what you're saying. So, did we left something aside from the extra spots? I think we didn't. We have many of the documents. The extra things I don't really care about. I just care about documents and relics. And the GPS things. I think everything is in order. Yep. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. Then why why am I lacking one of the documents though? Because I am lacking one of the documents. One of the most romantic things Smash has ever told me was when he looked down at my head and saw all the gray and said, We're doing it. We're getting old together. Oh, that's actually super sweet. It's actually super sweet. Oh my god. Really, really sweet. I'm missing one document. And two documents. Oh, one of the, one of it is uh, Lara's diary. So, are we sure? Where is that document I'm lacking, though? Is it a secret document or something like that? Because. On the map, it doesn't tell me that I'm lacking any documents. Unless it is something related to the GPS treasures or whatever thing. Should we go pick up the GPS treasures? I don't think that's gonna give me anything, just the achievement. Whatever. Oh, actually, can I upgrade the boat? I think... Okay. This completes this. And not enough. Oh, the shotgun. The other weapons are 100%. Just need more for the shotgun. Which I don't think I'm gonna get in this playthrough. Unless I do the... Reconnaissance on other areas. But yeah, that that comment was really romantic.
Ya, se viene final, ¿eh? Yes, this moment. How was your weekend? The weekend was actually quite, quite good. Just a moment, Chesha. Muchas, la verdad. Yeah, my weekend was was good. Uh, we didn't. Uh, what exactly did we do? I know that by Sunday, uh, Saturday, we went with a few friends, having a bit of a dinner. And oh, but, but yeah, Friday, uh, my my cousin got married this Friday. So we went to the wedding in the morning, and then we had a bit of a lunch, and then at the afternoon. Afternoon, evening, we went to get a bit of a, a bit of a coffee. We went to get coffee, and you know, spending with the family together. We weren't that many people; just uh, her family and his family, all together and all that. And the ceremony was quite good. Maybe I'll send. Uh, well, after the stream, I can send you uh, the video if you would like to to see how it, you know, the, the proposal marriage. Don't call me yesterday, I'm gonna be an uncle. Oh, congratulations. Welcome to the uncle life, baby. Welcome to the uncle life. Because I'm, a, I'm an uncle too. And my, uh, my niece has uh, three years old already. Where exactly do I have to go, Laura? Oh, okay. There. And yeah, by Saturday, we went to to a, China, a Japanese place that we liked too much and ate a bit of sushi. Are you excited to be an uncle, Paper? Or how? What was your reaction? Oh, I, okay. I think we need to, to do this because the wind is gonna carry the bell. Oh, come on. My reaction was okay. I mean, I mean, those kinds of news sometimes get you a bit unaware, you know? So I can relate. What the fuck? What? What? The physics of this game, I swear. What the fuck is going on with the physics? Well, when it's a niece, nephew, it's kind of easy to be detached to. It's not your kid and you're not, you know, yeah, you're not your life. But, you know, sometimes... I mean, in the case of paper, I don't know, but when the kid was growing up, since I live with, with my mother, um, well, the kid's still growing up. I mean, she is three years old. 
Uh, but since I live with my mother, my brother used to leave the kid here at home, so... Well, he still leaves the kid here at home, but I'm usually out with GF by the weekends, which is the time in which they leave the child. I don't think I can reach that. Can I reach that? del Sigurat. Ammo. Yeah, the enemies are coming. My god, with the physics. Where am I supposed to go? The right and then up, I guess. The music is getting too intense. God, zombie! This is our thousand four hundred miles away, so I only okay. It's gonna be here, I guess. Uh, so I only get to be an aunt a little bit of the time. The other lips too close that they are with each other and all the time, so they activate. So that activates the supply and demand economy of my presence. a fucking mask now. Why? Until the, the arrow feels full because 
Oh my god, thank you for killing your friend. <laughs> oh boy, you didn't go there. What the fuck? Damage. You're the Ira guys in the division right now. Is there a bow in the division? What the fuck was that throw? I don't know why the arrow bounces off the armor, though. Even though it's killing them. There it is. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Bienvenido al stream. Huevos en salsa. ¿Qué salsa? There's a small faction that uses them, but also my specialty weapon as a crossbow. Oh. Get the side. Mm. Mm. Spicy. Fuck, I was too fast. have a you had a helmet I mean crossbow it's something I can get along with uh, you know trained troops because it's fast to reload and all that but using a bow it's already gimmicky gimmicky enough You yeah, haven't seen that one yet because that's my 600 plus character. La gente que está abajo en plan reyes y tal tiene que estar en el What the fuck is happening in the mountain? Uh, do you want me to jump there? there has to be another way, right? How many? Okay, I gotta make the jump. Uh. Laura, Laura, why are you walking them? Oh my god, that's a cinematic. be like a gimmicky fight.
I'm getting arrows, so... Bonk. Bonk. Nope. Is there any reason why we're doing this, though? Nope. Okay, I have to shoot you in the back. Why is the grenades are not working? a Lana cuando se encontró a Mir. Con el, el calabacino. Y si te da, le das más se gira súper rápido. Oh, Dios mío, es un tío feo. Ah, espérate, ahora sí le podemos dar en la cabeza, ¿no? Ahora no tiene armadura facial. ¡Sí! ¡No me dispare! Fighting Matias, it's a it's a cutscene. Does that a graph of the words? Ambas dos. Es ambas dos a la vez. Tanta buena puntería que tiene durante todo el puto juego y ahora... Oh my god. Oh, las dos pistolas. Fuck you. <risa> vale, esa escena ha sido guapísima <risa> Fuck this Hell yeah <risa> That was an awesome scene It was fucking worth it just for that <risa> Es que me encanta como todos los juegos acaban haciendo lo mismo eh, Mata a Dios al final We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn.
Bueno, Sam, ¿cuánto de ella se ha metido dentro de ti? Much of her has gone into you, Sam. Una hipodermia mínimo, colega. Tranquila. No pasa nada. Me has salvado. Sabía que lo harías. Te hice una promesa. Pronto estarás en casa. Yeah, and they're gonna die of a hypothermia. Hypothermia, whatever. Pneumonia. Una neumonía mínimo. El split. Se acabó. I think so, yeah. ¿Qué no te le damos? Yo creo que un 7, 7 está bien, 7,5. Demasiado contenido repetido, pero bueno, es, es muy, diseño muy de la época. Ahí está Lara. La historia no está mal, me gusta la historia, está? y la banda sonora está muy bien. Pero se hace tan pesado en algunas escenas que es como 7,5. Yo creo que es una buena calificación. El tema de las, habili las habilidades y las herramientas que vas aprendiendo, usando a lo largo del juego está guay. Creo que se pondrá bien. Pero no se aprovecha mucho en tema de backtracking, la verdad. Ahora toca Tomb Raider 2. <risa> la segunda parte. Ahora podemos irnos. Sí, vámonos cagando leches de aquí. ¡Toma! He sido tan ciega, tan inocente. Durante años estuve resentida con mi padre. Dudé de él como los demás. Pero él estaba en lo cierto sobre tantas cosas. Ojalá pudiera decírselo ahora. Hay tantos misterios que antes consideraba meras fábulas. Pero la frontera entre mito y realidad es frágil y difusa. Debo encontrar respuestas. Necesito entender. That's it? No after oh wait, I think. A survivor is born, achievement unlocked. Oh my god, Lara, some improvement in a nap. A blanket. A little blanket. Oh they returned. Volvieron. No sé muy bien qué te ha pasado en la Oh no, the tus heridas y okay. la expresión. Oh my they got on the ship. At least they got rescued by that ship. No voy a ir a casa. Esta chica va a trabajar horas extras. My survivor is born. Heridas aún con las del costado? Sí, sí. We hope, you, we hope you have enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. We have worked our hardest to bring you the best game we could possibly make. Thank you for taking the time to complete our game. Nah, hombre, basta tom. Nah, hombre, por favor. Oh my god. Look at them. Ni se va a bañar la muy gollina, no, no. Ni atenderse las heridas. Es inmortal. Ya lo habíamos dicho, ya. I don't. Uh, good job, guys. Well done. Bueno, pues nada. Tomb Raider 1. Enhorabuena. Has completado el juego con un porcentaje total de 88%. Selecciona continuar para volver a la isla y completar retos pendientes. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Credit to picture. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like. Uh, yeah. That's not a very common thing now, is it? Okay, guys, that is Tomb Raider 1. Uh, my small review about it. I think it's... Why are you getting errors? Stupid shit. Um, I think it was uh, very good. My final score for this game is going to be probably 7.5. It's not 
it's not a bad game. It has really good music. And I really enjoyed having like the little power ups. Well, power ups is not actually power ups, you know, the different tools. Weapons are serviceable because every weapon is is good. You can you can play this game with all of the weapons without any any problem whatsoever. Uh, beyond that, I think it's a bit repetitive, but I'm not gonna hold it against against the game because many many games back then were like that and this game takes a lot of inspiration from uncharted and clearly this is an uncharted clone with a different tone a different shift and and many other things uh the story was good i did enjoy the story it was i think it was interesting i think the the plot was good i think they did a good re reboot of the series with this game it's just that maybe people were not that much interested i don't know how how well this game sell but I don't know if many people got really interested in Lara Croft after quite a while, you know? Because I know Lara Croft is an icon, I just don't know how many fans does uh, Tomb Raider has when it, when it comes to modern, modern games, you know? Like, I, I know a lot of people have, well, with the reboot of God of War, a lot of people are, you know, endearing the characters and all that. But I don't know if if Tomb Raider has this, that same appeal for many people. I don't know. But it was a good game. I, I enjoyed it, and I think it, it deserves a 7.5 because scenarios are really good. Music is really good. Uh, but it didn't... I don't feel any different after playing this game. And I think 7.5 is one of my top scores for game that I enjoy, but, I, but they didn't cut it for me to feel different after completed the game. Es una mujer protagonista. ¿Qué esperas? Que vaya bien, puto mundo. Argumentablemente, los, eh, los juegos de Samus Aran, los Metroid, van muy bien, tío. A ver, comparativamente... Voy a buscarlo un momento. Metroid Dread, número de... Sale, well, sale numbers. Sale numbers, I think it's... Eh, desde que se puso la venta en exclusiva para Nintendo Switch lo... vale, también es verdad que es un juego que está exclusivo para Switch, vale, pero 3 millones vale, definitivamente no no, no son los números que saca Pokémon pero Tomb Raider el nor... Tomb Raider 2013 how much it sold vendió 14,5 copias millones de copias Oye, ni tan mal, eh a la gente le gustó mucho el reboot, entonces. O a mucha gente lo compró, al menos. Sorprendido estoy de que Metroid Dread solo haya vendido 3 millones. Pero también es verdad que es, una, es, un, es un juego exclusivo de, de una consola concreta. Pero claro, Pokémon, por ejemplo. Pero claro, no voy a esperar que Metroid tenga el mismo tirón que Pokémon, la verdad. Pero es igual que Aloy, no vende tanto como otros. ¿Cuánto vendió Aloy? De hecho, Horizon... Coño, a fecha de agosto de 2021 había vendido 19,5 millones. Vender vendió, o sea, éxito fue. Y el y el otro, la segunda parte que era Forbidden West. Good, good. Ah, vale, no, eso es la saga entera. Vale, Forbidden West me salió 32,7 millones y una polla. <risa> Forbidden West lleva 8,4 millones en lo que lleva afuera. God of War. God of War, 19,02 millones. Oye, a ver. 19,02 19, millones. ¿Estamos seguros de esto, Wikipedia? Ahora, porque oh, me está, según esto, Horizon vendió más que God of War, ¿eh? El God of War, el base, el base. Videojuegos más vendidos de la Play 4. God of War, que es el único de la Play 4. ¿Y God of War Ragnarok? 
15 millones. Ah, eh, a ver, medianamente han vendido, han vendido bien. Es decir, lo... no, no ha habido tan, tan total. Tanta diferencia. A ver, también te digo, Horizon creo que salió en buen momento. Porque la verdad es que tuvieron muy buen marketing con el tema de fucking dinosaurios mecánicos. Mundo abierto y todo esta, toda la pesca. Así que yo creo que realmente Horizon triunfó bastante bien. No, no, lo, veo, no lo veo descabellado. Pero bueno, salió, salió bien. Eh... Voy a ir cambiando la información del stream y vamos a ir poniendo Rise of the Tomb Raider. Vale. Vamos a ir poniendo así y vamos a ir configurando todo esto para que para que funcione como tal. Pero sí, God of War, el remake. A ver, al final es cuestión de números. Yo creo que el final no es tanto... A ver, entiendo por dónde, vas, dónde van los tiros de... Entiendo perfectamente por dónde vas. Pero al final es un poco... Llamar al público, ¿vale? Llamar al público que tú quieres que... Y casi todos los juegos de... Bueno, con los que trabaja Sony usualmente salen, salen medianamente bien. <risa> 